So today, we are going to be finding the distance between two points on the coordinate grid. So look at this example right here. I've got point A, which is negative 5, 1. I've got point B, which is 3, 4. All right, so I want to find the distance between those two points. And what I mean by the distance is, if I connect these two points with a straight line here, because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, this distance right here, the length of this line segment is the distance between the two points. And I want to find the length of that. All right. Well, if you notice, I can just follow these grid lines from the points. And if you look closely, you'll notice, hey, I've got a right triangle. And right here, this distance is 1, 2, 3. So one leg of the right triangle is 3. The other leg of the triangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 8. Eight, and I'm trying to find this length right here. It's the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So if I want to find that distance, I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the hypotenuse, which I do not know. All right, so if I solve this, I can find that distance. 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64 add these together that gets me 73 and if I want to solve for C I'm going to square root both sides and I end up getting C is approximately and the square root of 73 on my calculator is about 8.5 so this distance from point A to point B is about 8.5 units all right so it's pretty easy there. All you have to do is connect up the points, turn it into a right triangle. Now, there might be a faster way to know the lengths of the legs of the right triangle, though. Because if you notice, the x-coordinate of this point A is negative 5. The x-coordinate of point B is 3. Watch what happens when I subtract them. I'll take that 3. I'll subtract the other x-coordinate, negative 5. 3 minus negative 5 is 8. And look at that horizontal leg length. It's 8. All right. Same thing with the y coordinates. My y coordinate here is 1. My y coordinate here is 4. If I subtract them, 4 minus 1, I get 3. And look at my other leg of my right triangle. You see, when you're trying to make this right triangle, subtract your x-coordinates, and that'll tell you the horizontal leg of your right triangle. Subtract your y-coordinates, that'll tell you the vertical leg of your right triangle. Now you're probably thinking, well, why do I need to do that? I could just count the squares. Well, let me give you a second example. Boom. Point C, negative 2, 6. Point D, 5, negative 4. Notice. We can't count the squares here, all right? So we can do the same thing we did before. I want to find the distance between these two points, so I'm going to connect them with a line. And this is the distance I'm trying to find. But notice, if I turn this into a right triangle, I can't rely on counting the squares anymore. I'm going to have to do some math to figure out what are the lengths of these legs so that I can do the Pythagorean theorem and find that distance. All right, so let's do that. The x coordinates are negative 2 and 5. So if I do 5 minus that negative 2, I get 7. So this length is 7. The horizontal leg is 7. Now let's do the vertical leg. My y coordinates are 6 and negative 4. So if I take 6 and subtract negative 4, I'm subtracting the two numbers. That gets me 10. So the vertical leg is 10. And now I can set up the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. 7 squared plus 10 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, c squared. And that's the distance between the two points. All right? So 7 squared is 49. 10 squared is 100. And if I add these two together, I get 149 equals c squared. If I want c, I'm going to have to square root both sides. 
when I do that, C comes out to approximately, and on my calculator, the square root of 149 is about 12.2 units. So this distance between the two points is about 12.2 units. All right, now you're probably thinking, well, why does this work? Why is it you can subtract the x coordinates to find the length of that horizontal leg? Well, remember what subtraction means. When you subtract two numbers, you're finding the difference between those two numbers, or you're finding the distance between those two numbers. This number is at 5 on the x-axis. This number is at negative 2 on the x-axis. And when you subtract them, what you're doing is finding that distance between those two plates is on the x-axis. And that's what we're looking for for the leg. And similarly, when you do the y's, this is at 6 on the y-axis. This point's at negative 4 on the y-axis. And when you subtract them, we're finding the distance between 6 and negative 4, which is 10. All right, so by subtracting your x-coordinates, you get your horizontal leg. When you subtract your y-coordinates, you get your vertical leg. So it's a quick little trick so that you don't have to rely on counting squares. All right. Of course, if you have the coordinate grid, counting the squares works just fine. But if you don't, you're going to have to do a little bit of subtraction. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and we will see you next time.